Well, this is going to be my initial review on this tent. Um, I got this because it's a four season tent. It's a two person tent, so it's a little roomier. Uh, be good for car camping. And if I do want to backpack with a second person, I have that option. Now, the only downfall to this tent is it weighs about seven pounds, and that's a little bit heavy for backpacking. Now, one thing to note the tent itself takes about six stakes to stake out. You got these ones in the middle here, one on either side, and then you got your main four on the corners. So right there you're at six stakes. There's two huge vestibules, which I love. Um, they take two stakes each, so that's bringing you up to ten stakes. Then the only thing you have to guy out this fly is these two little guy outs right here on the ends. Now these you can get away with uh, just staking a one stake. So that's bringing you up to a grand total of 12 stakes. A little bit much for backpacking, but again, if you want that luxury and if you are camping in real harsh conditions where you need the four season tent, this will do the trick. Tensioners. All you do is just pull the, pull the rope out, loop it around the stake, and this thing try to do this with one hand that's all it does you just slide it up and you know slide it to where you need it and it has little like teeth in it and you just get the rope in there and it, it tightens it holds it in place kind of like a knot but better so that's pretty good these have a little bit of bunginess to them so they're not going to rip rip apart and here we got a view from the other vestibule you know a little sleeping setup you can see there's quite a bit of room in these so definitely be roomy enough to cook in and whatnot get uh get ready to hit the trail if you were caught in a rainstorm Okay, so now we're going to finish up this review. This tent sets up with two poles. If you look at it here, this pole splits off into a Y. So you got that, goes all the way across the top here, onto the other side. That is actually one pole. And these things are pretty darn sturdy. Then you got this other pole goes across like this to offer it some support. So as you can see, it's got the these two small uh, vents on either end of the tent. The doors are just huge mesh. They get a good cross flow there. And then on the top, it's got two little mesh panels up there. So, what makes this a four season tent? Well, all of these mesh panels can be uh, covered. So basically, What you have here is little zip up panels. So you do that, cover that up on the doors. You can do the same with the doors. Um, not going to really demonstrate too much on these, but that'll cover up the whole door. You can do both of these up here. So obviously you wouldn't want to have all of your mesh panels covered up because you get a lot of condensation that way. But you do have options where you're getting a cold spot or whatever, you can, you can get that covered up. So another nice feature about this tent is the gear loft up here on top. 
it's uh, pretty big actually you can store quite a bit up there now the little clips right here you can hang a light or a lantern um, down below you got these little mesh pockets here one on that side and one on this side and as far as features go that's pretty much it I mean you got the uh, nice bathtub floors it's got a nice seam seal down the middle here the tent is actually pretty water it's supposed to be pretty waterproof I've yet to test that out but that's it that's my review on the Alps Mountaineering Jagged Peak two-person tent